let's look at our Game Week 10 Premier League predictions. But before we get into that, some good news, FIFA 23 is out. So we've got FIFA 23 and we've used it for all of the games this week. So obviously all the teams are in the right league, we've got all the Premier League teams in the right place, all the players are in the right place, they've got the new kits, there's new graphics, there's new features and things like that. So exciting news, FIFA 23. And because we've got FIFA 23, and it's been a bit of a nightmare for PC players, I've actually struggled to get the game open, so it took me a while to get into actually making these videos. To save a bit of time, I decided not to do my own commentary on the short videos like you can see on screen now, so highlights of every single game in shorts format. Um, usually I do my own commentary to give it a personal touch, um, but I've used the uh, commentary from FIFA this time. Now actually, some of you might prefer that because, you know, the commentary from the actual commentators is so much better than mine. I know I'm not a good at commentator, um, but, you know, it just adds my own personal touch to it if I do it rather than just, you know, recording off of the game. Um, but let me know in the comments what you prefer, because if we all prefer the in-game commentary, we'll use that going forward. So let me know in the comments on either this video or the shorts or however you want to do it. Just let me know. So on screen now we have got our predicted results for this week. So we've got Bournemouth beating Leicester 1-0, got Chelsea beating Wolves 1-0, Manchester City smashing Southampton 5-0 which is probably quite likely, we've got Newcastle beating Brentford 1-0, we've got Tottenham beating Brighton 2-0, Crystal Palace beating Leeds 2-1, we've got Fulham beating West Ham 4-1, that was a good game. Arsenal-Liverpool game was great, 3-0, I think Arsenal were leading 3-0 and Liverpool came back, gotta watch that one, it was really good highlights of that one. Uh, Manchester United beating Everton 3-1 and Aston Villa beating Nottingham Forest 2-0. So as we move on, just remember on the blue bar at the bottom we've got all of the scores that we've predicted there, so when we're looking at the league table and talking about scores you can see uh, what scores were predicted. Um, but next we'll have some of our key highlights of the week. Um, so our first one coming up is our favourite goal this week and I've kept this quite a long uh, replay here well, because we want to see some of the new, of the um, I guess, celebrations and you know clips that they do after the goal scored in FIFA 23. So it was a good build up. So this is um, the Arsenal Liverpool game, Liverpool coming back and yeah, as you saw there, it was a lovely pass in kind of flicked it up, did a spin and volleyed it in. Love it. I love a good volley. Um, so yeah, we'll watch a bit of this and we'll get a nice replay of that. Now Jurgen Klopp looks really good in this, so I can really see the graphics have improved on these um, cutscenes. Uh, so yeah, here's a replay, so he passes it in, flicks it up, does a turn and volleys it in. I just love that, that's why it's the goal of the week. It's that little turn there, flicks it up, turns, volleys it in. So lovely goal there, and I think that was their goal to equalise 3-3. And yeah, like I say, Jurgen Klopp looks really good there. So some good graphics there. Um, so our next clip here is our blunder of the week actually. So this is West Ham versus Fulham. Fulham on the ball there, passing it around in the area. And then we'll see that West Ham get the ball back. Passes it back to the keeper quite hard. Um, but the keeper gets it, he's in full control. <laughs> he just kicks it in between like three Fulham players just standing there. All he had to do was hoof it up really high. But he kept it low. He hit it quite hard, but it doesn't, it doesn't even look like he scuffed it, does it? He just <laughs> passes it straight into them and they easily get the ball and score. So that was a terrible blunder. That's our blunder of the week. Last clip we got here is the only penalty this week. Now, usually we get quite a lot of penalties um, and a lot of them are handballs. So I think I haven't got the handball setting on. But as you can see there, this one was a tackle. They fell in the box. I believe this cutscene is exactly the well, same as FIFA 22. I can't see much difference there unless when he pushes him away. I can't really remember. Um, but yeah, that was the tackle and then saves it. So I wonder if we're going to have the same topic with FIFA 22 as we do FIFA 22, where most of the penalties get saved. It's really odd, like hardly any, I'd say more than 50% anyway of the penalties get saved. Uh, right, so let's look at the Premier League table prediction based on those results. Like I say, you can see the scores at the bottom of the screen. So, as we predicted, Manchester City to keep winning, obviously. I mean, they got Haaland, he's an absolute beast. Um, he didn't get a hat-trick in that prediction though, but <laughs> he might do. 
uh, and we predicted Arsenal to draw against Liverpool, which again could happen. I know Liverpool aren't playing that well, um, but you know they're still a good team, so that could be one of the teams that you know breaks Arsenal up a little bit there, and Manchester City going above Arsenal, so Arsenal dropping down. Tottenham on the same position so they stay in third place so that's why we've got the orange on the far right hand of the screen there so the green means the team's going up red means they're dropping down orange means they stay where they were so we've got Chelsea Man United and uh, Newcastle all going up as well and then we're moving on to the bottom half of the table now so we've got Aston Villa climbing up we've got Brentford Everton and Leeds all dropping down Crystal Palace going up because the the win against Leeds uh, West Ham, Southampton dropping down and then the bottom of the table Wolves, Leicester and Nottingham Forest all staying exactly where they were. Uh, I think we predict Leicester and Forest to lose, is that right? Uh, yeah, so, and Wolves to lose as well as we just saw at the bottom of the screen so that's why they're staying where they were. Okay, so that is it really, those are our predictions for the week. So remember to go and check out the shorts highlights that you'll see on screen in a minute as I prattle on. Um, so yes, yeah, highlights of every single game in shorts format on the channel using FIFA 23 this time. And do please let me know what you think of the commentary situation. Do you prefer the commentary from the game like I've got in these week's highlights? Or do you prefer it when I add my own personal touch with my rubbish commentary over the top of it and uh, I, I feel it flows a bit better because I, I make the video then comment over it whereas obviously the commentary is in the full game on this so I'm having to try and really cut it up to make sure that the the commentary flows a little bit when I'm using the in-game commentary and sometimes it doesn't flow um, but they are better than me so I admit that um, anyway thanks for watching that is our predictions for this week and I'll see you in the next video when we go through the real results and see how we did with our predictions compared to those real results so cheers